How's it going guys? Welcome to this Let's Look at a Galaxy of Pen and Paper. This game is made by the people that made Behold Studios, which if you don't remember or are like new to the channel or you know, you found me <laughs> somehow. Um, these are the same people that made the uh, Chroma Squad game, which I absolutely loved. I thought that game was incredible. Uh, they went ahead and gave me this key for free because of how much I like that game, which I think is incredible. Also, I don't know if you guys know, can tell there's a difference in like the sound quality. I got a new headset with a microphone that's a lot closer to me. Hopefully, it's not going to pick up as much like background noise and stuff like that. There's also like an incredible thunderstorm going on outside, so you know it might be a little bit uh, odd. But let's go ahead and just new game here. Uh, hopefully, this is like. Um, what's it called, like Chroma Squad was, if it is, I'm going to be pretty happy. I also need to stop, like, umming a lot. I've, I've noticed people get uh, quite upset when I do that, but at least this microphone, the good thing is it has, like, I can, like, click a button on it, and it just mutes the microphone. So I can do that whenever, like, I feel like um, I need to... Oh, see, there, I did it again. Whenever I need to... I think I need to focus more on the gameplay or whatever, like... Something like that. Is everyone here? Can't see. I'm not too sure what the game's about, though. I just know it's a gal. Oh, who will be the Galactic Master? What? Oh, okay. Let's see. I probably not not red hair. Uh, not blonde. It's probably like like this guy. That guy looks, I guess, the closest. Whoa! Yo, these are cool. I'm gonna go with the cool suit. Oh, never mind. I have to go for the Darth Vader one. Darth Vader one's pretty good. These are from Star Trek, if I'm not mistaken. I assume that these are all, like, from somewhere. Um, I'm gonna be a cool astronaut, probably, or... GM nickname. We're gonna go for that cool helix. Uh... Oh, there you go. Cool gas mask instead. No, I think I think I'm gonna go with those with those shades. Sit in this cool like turbo chair thing. Yeah, there you go. And now, now what? Now I create character. Okay. Uh, role player. I'm gonna leave their name as that, or actually no, we're gonna call, we're gonna call you Mark, because I know somebody whose name is Mark. Oh, there's different people. Oh, there's a lot of different people. Oh my god, you know what? Never mind. I don't know what to name these people anymore. Achievers. I, dude, I don't know anything about D and D. Like this is not, this is not my place. Achiever. Buddy, uh, friend, you need a slight chance he will join you. The achiever achieves bonuses for each achieved achievement. I want that one. Humans start with three skill points. Green and simian. Big fists, furry eyebrows. Okay. Greens have a chance to not spend SP. I think I'll, I'll just go for human. Do this. There's so many options here. I'm a little overwhelmed. I will have like an achiever gadget here. Sure. I am going to call you Swag. That is that is who you are. And my other role player will be a uh I guess like a slayer, right? Like just Oh, I mean, this is a badass, though. Just to show how cool he is. Ooh, every time someone's finished, though, he regains HP, so I'll probably want to be, like, a Slayer with whatever, like, a Slayer Trooper. A Slayer Trooper, I'm gonna call you, uh, Pooper. Hey, Pooper. They can see us now. We're playing a sci-fi setting. Dude, is this just like a D&D &D kind of game? Because I'm... I don't know how to play D&D. &D. If this is D&D, &D, it's not going to go very well. He was born ready. 
Oh man, this is about to go. It's about to get lit. If you guys want to play this game, I guess I should also uh, mention the game is uh, it's fifteen dollars on Steam right now, if I'm not mistaken. There's also like a sixteen dollars sale if you also want like the the soundtrack. So we're like in some sand dunes. Oh, dude, that's funny. Method game running. It was kind of old, dude. I back to ten. Okay, I guess it, it has a, like a kind of D and D. Uh, you know, if you're into D and D, then this is probably the game for you. Probably, uh, unfortunately, probably not for me. They refuse to pay rent. Oh, what? Kick out the mothoids in storage. Uh. Are we getting paid for this? You get bonus interpretation XP. K -k -k -k. Petulance. But no, I'm not. Oh. Oh, I have to do it anyway, so even though I'm not doing it. Click to continue. If I'm not mistaken, it still has like the turn based combat boxes and bits. You pile around. Inside. Oh my god. Dude, that thing looks ugly. I guess, like, I kind of want to help us take Vestro down, because, you know. Leave us alone? Defeat three of them anyways. Oh, okay, so. Add, add, add. Oh, so I can, like, put a lot of them to get a lot more XP. Oh, I have to defeat at least three, but I can fight up to six? All right, let's go for three. Let's let's see if we can do it as hard as this, it allows us to. There's a pretty cool way to drop them out. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn. Look at an action. Okay, so it's attack, piercing attack. Ignores shield. Change targets front back line. What? Oh, like I'll I, I change around and I can also swap enemies around. Okay, well I guess I'll. I'll attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can't hit the ones in the back until I hit the one. Oh, he dodged me. That was cool. Alright, Pooper. There you go. Pooper with that one shot. Okay, so if I'm if I'm one-shotting them anyways, uh, the only thing I do wish is I have kinetic shields on. As long as they're up, they regenerate every turn. Okay. So now she took actual damage, and so did he. So she also just like, I, I am just gonna pretty much one shot these enemies then is what it seems like to me. Got the kill, healed something. Not too sure how much though. I should ideally fight this guy next, correct? Cause he's the one that goes right after her. So if I'm, ooh, dodged, okay. That's cool too, I guess. Yo, they're gonna kill Pooper. He has 7 HP left. He has 8. Oh, he literally heals 1 HP. Oh, it's my turn yet? No, it's not my turn yet. That turn counter takes a... Takes a while. Yeah, Swag does not seem to be extremely competent. As sad as that is. Victory. So, she's back to full HP. I don't think they hurt her, actually. They would a lot of storage. So, I'm not, like, super down for, like, all the reading and stuff, but it seems cool. Got some credits, then. Take those to help you pay your debt. Oh, so I know, uh... You can't do that? I'll cancel your contract if you ever get hold of a spaceship of your own. Yeah, I guess that is an asshole. I'm not. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm no longer. I've been demonetized. My one cent I'm gonna make from this video is now gone forever. Um, burger heals HP, recovers SP. Change team formation, create a new mission, level up. Continue. Oh my God, this is. There's a lot of stuff here. I have four whatever's so I can like passively raise my SP by 10 um, 
I kind of want to go for like more of the passive ones. Your basic attacks heal yourself if your target has poison. Okay. Basic attacks raise my threat. Raises my critical chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that one. Oh, these aren't leveled. I thought I was gonna like level them up a little bit more, but I guess they're like one-time unlocks. That's cool, I guess. Basic attacks raise my threat. Sure, why not? No free slots are available. Oh, okay, so I can only have so many. I guess I'll like... Can I unequip that one and then equip that one? I can do that. Okay. Pooper also leveled up. I don't have anything to do with his skills. He does that all by himself. You also, you only have two. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait for you then. Create a new mission. Uh, mission type, mission giver and setting. Campaign quests, okay, start mission. Could use a good scrubbing, somebody help. Uh, why is he not wearing pants? Oh. Someone's sanding sand raiders to take over sending okay <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's that's fun. to me that's pretty funny that's a that's a good one escort mr. cat back to the crazy camel take the ATV it's a long story you don't want to know mr. can has joined the party so now I can create a new mission or I can continue to do that <clears throat> Create your own scenario. Planetary travel. Okay, I think we'll do some. I guess planetary travel up here. This is this is pretty different from from uh, Chroma Squad actually. This. Ooh. Okay. Making excuses not to pay. Oh, he lives here. Oh my God. Whoa. Naked Mr. Kent. I uh, will pay in punches. Let's go. Five Sand Raiders. I might as well go for six, right? Is there no difference to doing five as to doing six? It seems like there's no point in doing six of them, so I might as well just do the five. Oh, these guys actually have shields and seem to be a lot better than me. I will do a piercing attack. To ignore the shield oh they still lived that's that is not bueno at all I wish this part like could go by a little bit faster oh I clicked out of the game I don't think there's a way for me to make it go any faster so use items access strategic options I will go for a charged attack on that one yeah, it should, it should kill him for sure. He healed up a bit. I probably should have attacked that one had I known. Oh, I can no longer do a piercing attack. Because I guess I only have, I only have 4 SP. Okay, well I guess I should have gone for the, uh... The SP 10 increase. That would have been pretty good. Ooh, Cooper may actually, yep. Yeah. I'm probably going to lose this fight then. I have been defeated. I do not know what that is going to mean for me. Because I have never saved. Oh. Find yourself back in the med bay. You were brought by unseen aliens. They took some of your some of their credits. At least they didn't think everything. Okay. So that one's probably a, a slightly too hard. Oh, but I can't actually create any more missions. I guess until I do that one. So is this just is this gonna be like a more grindy-ish game, I guess? Like what if I choose to just add one? Is it then gonna tell me to just, you know, like fight four of them? Because I feel like it's gonna tell me to just fight four, because if that's how it's gonna be, then I mean 
that's gonna be pretty easy. Yeah, I have to just defeat four of them now. Okay. So I can, like it says, I can just do it at my own pace. I think I can do two of them then. Like, I should be able to take out two relatively easily. A charge attack should take one out. Guaranteed. They still attack between me, but that's fine. Shield hopefully lives. Okay. So I think this was just guaranteed to die now. I'm not too sure what threat does either, though. Oh my god, I'm already at 15 minutes. I'm just gonna probably like finish this mission, see what else is going on. Oh, I can buy like cool equipment just like in the other game. Races threat by three. Races SP. I I see. All right, might as well fight two. So I can actually just grind as much as I want is what it seems like to me. Intimidating body. I will get at least one kill. So that's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I will not... Oh, spread damage. That's not bad. Was It was enough to kill him, but at least, you know, that's not bad. More threat, more XP. Armored figure to Pierce. No, he won't, because you'll all be in jail. Nice. Val drags him away. Mr. Kent returns. Oh, he got his towel back. Yeah, why didn't he? Why did he not just get <laughs> pants? That's cool, though. Dude, this is a pretty good game. I'm. I don't know. I like it. Some people were like iffy on the whole uh, the Chroma Squad one. Unexplained device revives a fallen character and heals half of his HP. Yeah, people were like iffy on Chroma Squad. Like a lot of people were really enjoying it, and then there were a lot of people that were just like, "Why are you still playing this?" Those people made me sad because I really liked Chroma Squad. Like I, I genuinely liked it quite a bit. I don't care much for that one, so I'll just get get ten more SP. You have three now. So you can also get just more SP to targets and its adjacents. There you go. Your body slam. Basic attacks deal extra damage. Races initiative. Pulls target to the front line. Raises minimum damage by 20%. That seems pretty good. Just outright more damage. But this burst attack also seems to be quite good. So we will try this one out. Another campaign quest. Oh, I said I was just going to finish that one. Actually, I'll just make it to 20 minutes. Um, because I guess I might as well make it to 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and back to the graveyard. Looks like the star is visible even during the daytime. Oh, is this why it's called uh, Galaxy of Pen and Paper? Oh, never mind. I don't know why I thought it had something to do with the star. Like, I thought the name had something to do with the star. A local refinery can't leave town unattended, so they're, sa they're sanding me. Dude, that sanding to sending is really funny to me. Uh, what's in it for us? The warm glow of galactic communal righteousness. I can rest you. Alright, I guess we'll take care of Master Ginormous Hooper Swag. Mission Star Authoritarian Authority. You were conscripted to resolve their crisis. So we have to go to the oil refinery, which is all the way over here. Empty node, nothing impressive there. Dominated by fair smell, suddenly enemies approach two petroman, two sand raiders. Oh my god, that thing looks insane. Okay, I guess I'll add oh wow, that's just like one alone is a lot of difficulty. I'm gonna try doing just all four in the hopes that maybe I can like somehow win, but I'm I'm some slowly having my doubts here. I will go ahead and just piercing attack like this one guy. 
and then we will just try first attack to deal damage to him and to everybody else. There you go. Okay, that's not bad. I think I can probably succeed this then if that like worked out that oh never mind they like they legit just almost one shot me or I guess not me but her Cooper does not have enough SP to do another one though I hope he's gonna do enough damage to like oh no all right well so now I can totally see how I could just lose here 20 damage. Oh, I have 35 HP. So as long as I get like this kill. Uh, okay, I no longer believe I can win. Yeah, I no longer believe that I can win. I only lost 10 credits though, so the super futuristic tech got some got some coins to pay my bills okay so this mission once again is just I guess it's a matter of just kind of building up to them as opposed to like trying to go as hard as humanly possible from the beginning but like I think if I just do like a bunch of sand raiders I think now I think now I can easily take out all the sand raiders so we're just gonna do one of these one of these tough fights here Obviously hoping for the best, but uh, as per usual, expecting the worst. I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I'll pooper over here. A burst attack. That's that's really good though. Like look at look at how much damage that just gets out there. The ideal would be then to take out like this one. I guess like the whole top row would be ideal to take out. Might as well do that. Threat goes up. I still really should just be attacking the ones that are going to be attacking me. Oh my gosh. Can't attack that one quite just yet, but I can attack the other ones. I believe Pooper may die. Because I don't think I can take out like both of them. It's a sad part here, but I can at least make some headway. Oh, that means he's not going to attack me, correct? I still don't have enough 4A charge to attack. Yeah. Pooper may die. It is still fully possible. It is no longer as possible, but you know. Piercing attack. If he attacks Pooper, then this is bad. Oh, he didn't attack Pooper. This is good. What's his shield like? 10? So she has to deal 17 damage in one attack. Oh, I was going to say seems unlikely, but that's right. We have enough SP to do a second one. There you go. Okay, so I see. I see. The game does kind of want you to, like crying some out because because now I'm gonna lose whatever my next encounter is so I'm getting it I'm getting it I'll try my best to like finish this one off I guess I don't think I can take out two Petro man I can probably take out one at a time though which I mean I get less gold and less XP out of it but it seems like I'm much more likely to succeed this way which does mean something I don't think he can one-shot me this turn. So I'm gonna get like one more good attack on him and then I'm gonna then that'll be all. Does threat mean that they're more likely to attack that person? I guess it doesn't matter. Heal trigger. And then I just need to fight one more Petro Man. Yeah, so this, I guess this also kind of shows off a bit more of the gameplay, because this, this is probably what you're going to be seeing a decent amount of, is like fighting just one enemy at a time, slowly but surely. Because it is a lot easier to fight one of these guys over fighting like the two and then like all the sand raiders and stuff. 
so this did go a little bit better. A lot less XP, but I got Petrolman Syrup. Oil things loose consistency when defeated, forming pools of black and goo. Let's go ahead and turn this in. Only authorized personnel are, are allowed here. You must be ginormous. That's a Lord Ginormous. But yeah, that's me. Also, oh, whenever I pick one of theirs, um, whenever I pick one of theirs, they gain more XP. The name's Ginormous. More like a humongous get us out of here or the dice gets it. I'm leaving a last surprise to do you in. Aliena, what a cool name. And they're gone in a flash. Oh, okay. What in the world is this? Washing he's not he's the Fantabulous Unboxed Box. I'll unbox you, oh man. Can I like, oh I can do this mid fight? That seems a little f unfair. I don't think I'm gonna win this fight though, dog. Like I'm in no, I'm in no shape to do this. I mean, I still might as well do piercing attacks. It just, it deals more damage than my regular, than my regular attack. Okay. Keep doing piercing attack, it deals more damage. 24. It's got 30 left. Oh man, so it's all up to swag now. I mean, as long as she keeps doing a piercing attack, I think I'll be alright. Yeah, next turn I'm guaranteed to. Oh my gosh, I'm not guaranteed to win because he stunned me. Are you serious? Are you for real right now, dude? Oh, you could. You, no way, dude. I'm guaranteed to win. No way, dude. Oh, stun resisted. Let's go. Yo, this game legit almost cheated me. Oh, Pooper doesn't get XP because he died. That's the second strongest box I've ever fought. What's the strongest? If we only had our own ship. Oh my god. What is happening? Are we getting a ship? Holy, yep. Wouldn't a crash so close kill us in the shockwave? Because if you apply the meter impact rule, remember the golden rule? The GM has the final word. There you go. Alright, so I'm gonna get a cool new ship. But I'm probably gonna end the mission uh, at the cool new ship, I guess. Hell yeah. You reach the ship's crash site. Dude, I can play these games like non-stop. I need you all focused on the game. I think there's even a word for that. Unabi. Hell yeah. Enter the fallen ship. Let's look around some more. Power core pulsing with energy. Doesn't use fuel. Oh hey, I've... I've been here before though. I've been in that med bay. You reach the ship's bridge. Okay, I've passed the electrical fire saving throw. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Oh, it's this guy again. I'm gonna take power just to fully heal Pooper here. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of people. Okay, so the whole point of the game is to get ginormous. And I think now I can get more ships. A musician? It needs a name. It'll be known as Frog. Yeah. The frog is good. Processing core. The frog starts trembling. Oh man, we've done it. So, I guess, let me know if you guys want to see me play through the rest of this game. I might play through the rest of it, like, anyways, because I'm, I'm liking it so far. I was a pretty big fan of, uh, oh, God. Try catching Ginormous' ship. 
whoa. This is all like really cool. And now I can create mission from Val in Neo Tokyo for the Urban Ronin. Oh, that's really cool. So I just get a bunch of reputation for doing these missions. Okay, so this game can get pretty lit. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, go ahead and check out the game on Steam. I think it's going to be great. If you're into this kind of game, I would just get it for 15 bucks. It's it, it seems pretty good so far. Um, like I said, if you guys would like for me to play through it, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment. Or I guess, yeah, leave a comment down in the comments. And I'll see you all next time. I guess I should like just finish out this just so I can know what's going on. Neo Tokyo, Ronin. Neo Tokyo defeat Urban Ronin and three samurai. Alright, there you go guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.